What's up guys? I'm going to modify my Opus 18650 battery charger by putting on a new 3D printed back case and an additional fan for cooling. So let's go. Okay guys, now quick disclaimer here, as always, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, just watch the video for entertainment and stay away from getting your hands inside the electronics because it could shock you. Um, luckily enough, this unit is only 12 volts, so not dealing with too high voltages on this one. But the reason why I'm actually modifying this is because the fan on this unit has gone and the batteries as they're charging um, they require that cooling there um, just in case for the for the electronics on the inside as they start to heat up um, so the first thing you want to do obviously is take the back panel off so you've got the four screws attached here that comes off quite easily now for mine I've ripped that fan out um, and what you've got left over is the little connector on here which we'll uh, show in a minute but basically, as you saw before, I've 3D printed up a back cover for this unit. Now that fits on top over the same spot. Now there is two little things you have to be wary about. And that is that this uh, 16 volt capacitor here does get in the way of the actual screw post. So you kind of have to just bend that up a little bit. Now there's plenty of room in this case. So you know, even if it was sitting straight up, it wouldn't be an issue. So if you bend that up a little bit and also the little connector here for the fan, you can push that down a little bit as well just to get that out of the way. The case then sits on top, nice and snug. It does add a bit more extra on the size of the unit, um, but that'll be so we can get that 60 millimeter case fan in there which I've got a few of those lying around so we'll hook those up connect them in and we'll see how it goes Now that we've done one, might as well do the other one. Okay, so now that these two units are done, I've actually found this bracket which was just out of an old computer. Um, I'm not sure what it was used for. I'm just reusing it to basically join these two units onto it to put it on a bit of an angle. And luckily enough, it fits over the top over these battery holders. So what I'm gonna do is screw this onto the actual battery stack and I'll run the power cables up in um, so that they're out of the way and that way I can start charging batteries again. Alright so as you can see we've all got it plugged in now it's just temporarily I've got the wire connected up the top um, what I'm gonna actually do is set up a power board on the back or something like that um, and hide all the wires behind everything now the fan is turned off at the moment because it's running off the same fan that used to be connected to the unit so it actually has like a sensor so it turns on when it needs to be on um, so it's not running all the time so it actually kicks on when you first plug it in so if I plug that in I can feel it now sucking air through and pushing it through on this side which is good so so it's doing what we actually want it to do so what I can start to do now is start plugging some of these in, charging them up or recharging, 
whatever I need to do um, and also testing because once I start testing all these batteries I've got another uh, series of videos installed for that I'll put a link in the description for the 3d prints as well so anyone can go and reprint those as well if you want to the case fans were just old case fans so this ended up being quite cheap and it took about seven hours to print so it was quite a bit I made sure I either started it before I went to bed or when I woke up in the morning so that way I was able to then uh, take it off and make sure it didn't um, have any problems so that's it for me thanks for watching we'll catch you next time by putting on a back case so um, and Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here. Now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here. So go check that out. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.